Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art. And I just dive right in here because this is about my seventh or eighth tile today. And in this case, I'm banging out the air bubbles. I happen to be using Glidden for my uh, pillow paint there. So I was just trying to use up all the Glidden at that point. So on this day, I'm also voicing over because there's a lot of noise in the background. There's sirens, the, going to the hospital, noise from the school. So just voicing over. That first color is Golden's Turquoise. And this next color here is uh, Prism Pores Chantilly Lace. And the third color I'm going to lay down is Golden's uh, Iridescent Bronze. And this color is uh, Golden's Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold combined with some Burnt Sienna. I like to call it Cunag. And the last color I'm going to lay down is none other than my 24 karat gold by Bethel Art. So I'm about to lay down my cell activator and I start with my Amsterdam titanium white, which is a Australian flow trawl to titanium white ratio of about two to one. And then my black, which is Amsterdam's oxide black, same ratio, about two to one. And as usual, the cell activator is thinner than the paints and the paints are thinner than the pillow. And again, as I blow the, the bloom out, I'm always thinking I want to skim that cell activator over the top of the colors so that the cell activator will spread over the colors like foam on a breaking wave coming into shore. And for any of the newer artists out there, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm basically taking a straw and I'm blowing on the center where the uh, most of the cell activator ends up. And as I'm blowing down into the cell activator, I'm trying to push it aside to let the paints below push through and make the cells. And for any of the newer viewers out there, what I'm doing is just cleaning up the turntable a little bit and I'm putting it into a little slop bucket container. And I will reuse this paint on future coasters. So at this point, it's pretty much a wrap. And I do have some white spots that I will easily take out when I toothpick them. And I don't show you that on camera, but I have showed that in prior videos. So there it is. I think it looks pretty nice. So thanks for tuning in, everybody, and hope to see you next time. And if you like this video or my content on this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll be kept up to date with all my videos.